Welcome to Medicine in a Nutshell's Guide to Successfully Taking Blood. Prepare. Prepare bottles. Prevac. Tourniquet. Palpate. Clean. Insert. Aspirate. Fill other bottles. Release tourniquet. Remove bottle. Remove needle and apply cotton wool. Label bottles. With good preparation and technique, taking blood can be a quick and painless procedure. You will need a tourniquet, cleaning products, a needle, blood bottles, cotton wool and tape. Prepare the blood bottle by attaching the needle. Ensure that the bevel is facing upwards and that you can see into the bottle. Prepare any other bottles you have. Make the patient comfortable with their arm rested on a pillow. Apply the quick release tourniquet above the antecubital fossa. Ensure the ends of the tourniquet do not hang over the needle entry site. Allow time for the vein to engorge. Ask the patient to open and close their hand, then make a gentle fist to lift the vein. Palpate the vein and note the direction. You may need to hold the skin taut to anchor the vein of an older patient. Clean the area and allow time for drying. Place your dominant hand on the skin to stabilise the needle. Use the other hand to anchor the skin if needed. Insert the needle at the angle of the vein with the bevelled side upwards and warn the patient of a sharp scratch. Aspirate the blood with the plunger and note the bottle filling. You will have a good view of this if you have mounted the bottle with the label on the underside. Rest your dominant hand on the arm to keep it still. Avoid pushing the needle too far in or pulling it out as you change bottles. Again, ensure you have a comfortable grip on the needle as shown. You may want to hold the cotton swab and blood bottles in the dominant hand for easy access. Release the tourniquet with the non-dominant hand. Remove the final blood bottle. Remove the needle and apply direct pressure to the puncture site with the cotton wool. Label the bottles, document in the notes and send the samples to the lab.